Greetings all. Welcome to another Tuesday Talk. Today we're going to continue our study in uh, the history of the English language. And we're going to be talking about the uh, restructuring during the Renaissance era, how la the language was uh, changing, especially with regard to uh, pronunciation and how the sounds were changing as we moved along. So there's going to be talk about the great vowel shift uh, that we're going to see, and it was literally called the Great Vowel Shift. We'll talk about why it happened and some theories as to what caused it. Of course, the best thing we're going to have is <clears throat> reasons why we can do this. Uh, the main reason why we can do this is because of uh, the corpus, or the corpuses, corpus I. What would it be? be that were developed during this time, uh, people who were collecting data in order to analyze language. All right, now we should study language change on two different levels. We should study it um, on the linguistic level and on the level of the speaker. So we'll study it linguistically primarily through the corpus by seeing how these changes occurred over time. We also want to look at it from the speaker's point of view, which would be more ethnocentric and it would be closer to things like um, cultural uh, impact and the different uh, causes that are being inputted through uh, the individuals. Two different ways that we'd want to look at it. Uh, the focus that we're going to be looking at is on the phonology, but we have to bear in mind that there were other changes as well. There were changes in in morphology. They were becoming fewer in morphology. There were fewer and fewer uh, <clears throat> endings and cases and things that were going on during this time. So there was a reduction there. The vocabulary was quite the opposite. It was an increase. Uh, it was growing. Growing because it was borrowing from other languages, and then, of course, because of inventions and whatnot, it was increasing. With regard to syntax, there's an increase in the use of the paraphrastic do. Um, again, because other things were being dropped out, the do is now taking over those jobs. And then, of course, spelling. There were changes in spelling, especially the audience that you were in, and there were also actual letters being get, you know, finally gotten rid of. Uh, and replaced with others. So those are some of the changes that were going on outside of phonology, and it's important to recognize that there are a lot of changes that are going on. The focus for uh, this uh, lecture here is going to be primarily on the phonology. Now, why focus on phonology? I mean, it does change. Yes, it does, and it changed like any other aspect of the language. The interesting thing that's going on here is the uh, the development of the corpus and uh, what was happening where there were groups of people who were charged with the job of going out and collecting information. And so they would go out and collect and random, you know, collect information. They're writing it down and then they're analyzing it. They created a corpus. Uh, for lack of a better word, they created a database of material through which they could